the most common question we get in our practice is what is the best filler for the lips? You're not gonna find an answer to this. There is no answer to this. I'll just advise you as to what not to use and then I'll tell you what the benefits are of the different fillers very quickly. So, anything that's not an HLA filler, meaning a hyaluronic acid, I would advise against unless you have a very specific reason for using it. The big X's or the definitely do not, okay? And this is not FDA approved. It is not condoned in any uh, sense of, of injections for the lips is silicone. Uh, along with silicone, you can add in Belafil, Artifil, any type of uh, polyacrylamide or polymethyl methacrylate, silicone type derivatives. These things, uh, they're not predictable. Injections are not predictable, period. Nobody can do an, uh, a predictable injection. I can't. Um, and so when you do a filler on somebody, you want to make sure that if something goes wrong, it can be fixed. So you stay away from silicone, stay away from Artifil, Belafil, anything that is semi-temporary or you don't know what it is. Uh, fat injections you can do, but I'd be very cautious, very, very small amounts. Fat injections can cause the same exact problem silicone can. It can migrate, it can hypertrophy, it can thicken, it can cause nodules, and it is very difficult to fix. Uh, Sculptra does no role in the lip. Radius should never be placed in the lip. Then you get to your HLAs. The HLAs are all relatively safe. So you can use any hyaluronic acid, uh, Juvederm, Restylane, and all the other ones around the world that you can think of. The uh, two that are most reactive and cause the most issues with making people look worse over time tend to be Juvederm and Juvederm uh, Ultra XC. Those are migratory fillers, they're inflammatory, and they draw in more water than the other fillers do. All of them can, Restylane can, uh, Bellotero can, but not to the degree that the original Juvederm does. So I advise patients, if I were you, you don't want to look fake, you don't want to start looking thick or monkey-like over the next several years, don't use Juvederm. Or else usually, two years later, three years later, you'll see a little problem pop up right over here where it gets a little bit thicker, heavier, and starts weighing the lip down. The filler that I use the most myself is Restylane or Restylane Refine. However, I love from the Juvederm line, the Volbella, Volure, those are great. Voluma is not great in the lip, uh, it tends to be a little nodular. Uh, Restylane uh, Silk is great, the Restylane Define is good, Bellotero is good, and all the other HLAs that are uh, around the world are good. I just advise being very cautious with Juvederm itself. It is the one that people use the most. It does not mean it's the best. It is not meant for the lips. It's not made for the lips. So I advise patients, if you want to look natural, at least go with the more natural fillers. Now, I do use Juvederm in certain instances myself. If a patient demands it, I do. Or if somebody has very dehydrated lips and there are patients who look like they have scleroderma or thin, thickened lips, and for those patients, I advise using Juvederm because it will draw in more water than the other fillers do. So there is a nice use for it in that case.